Hello everyone, it's Mike here and I'll be sharing with you today my second video for the financial calculator. I will show you how to use the Texas instrument to solve some math and statistic concepts. As I have stated in my previous video, I will use my Texas instrument BA2+. The function that I will show you today are exactly the same for Texas instrument BA2+, professionally. So the first function or tip that we're going to see today is how to calculate the mean, standard deviation, and a variance of a population and a sample. So given the following data set, we will input them into the calculator. What we will do is first we press second, then seven as data. And we get x01. What we should do first is we clear out the calculator. So we press second, then clear. So we clear out everything that's uh, inputted previously. Now we input the data that we have. So we press 10, enter. So we inputted x1, then we go downwards. We have y01, we're going to keep it as 1 for now. In the next question, we will input y as a probability, but for now, keep all the y's as 1. Then we press downwards again. We get x02, so we're going to input 24. So 24, enter, and we'll go downwards. y02, we keep it also as 1. Downwards again, x03, we're going to input 16. Enter. Then we go downwards, x04 is 13, enter. Then we press second, statistic as 8. So then we press second, 8. Well, I have it one uh, as one variable, but if you have it different than one variable, what you should do is you press second, enter, so you change it from lin to ln to exponential power to get it as a one variable so if you have it something other than one minus v just press second enter second enter to get one minus v okay then press downwards you have n which is equal to four we have the average of this data set is 15.75 the standard deviation if it was a sample so sx is a sample standard deviation as six and uh, the sample, the population standard deviation is 5.2. And if we want to calculate the variance, for example, we just square the uh, standard deviation. So let's say the variance of a population. So 5.2, we press squared. We get 27. So this is the variance of a population. So for the second function that I will show you today is how to calculate the expected value, standard deviation, and variance of a random variable. So given the following data set and the equivalent probability, we will input the data into the calculator. So what we do is the similar, we press again, second, then data is seven, then we press second to clear out our work. Clear, so now we cleared what we had previously. Then we're gonna input the data that we have in this uh, table. So first, x01 is 10, so we press 10, enter. Then, as you can see, the 10 has a probability of uh, 0 0.1, which is 10%. So we'll input y01 as 10 also. So we'll put it as 10%. Enter. x02, as we can see, it's 24. So 24. Enter. Then we go downwards. We have y02. y02 as per the table with 20%. Uh, so we press 20. Enter. Then x03 is 16, enter. Then y03 is also probability of 0 0.2, which is 20%. So we input 20, enter. Then we have x04, which is 13. So 13, enter. And finally, y04, which is uh, 0 0.5, so 50%. So 50, enter. So now, after we've inputted the data, we press second, eight, which is statistic. We keep it as one variable, or if not, we press second enter to get it to one variable. Then we press downwards. We have n is 100, representing 100% probability. The expected uh, value is 15.5, given the probabilities and the data set. The standard deviation of a sample is 5.56. And if it was a population, it will be 
if we want to calculate again the variance of a population for example we just square it so standard deviation squared this is a variance for the population so now let's calculate a couple of uh, small formulas so if we have the factorial as you can see here is four factorial so what we do we press four then we press second then the multiplication which is as you can see x factorial we get 24 and for my fourth tip or the fourth function is how to calculate the permutation so what we do is we press as you can see 7p3 so we press 7 then we press second the minus which is npr then we press 3 equal 210 and if you want to calculate for a combination what we also do is we press 7 second then c which is plus so ncr is plus then we press 3 equal we get 35 and for our sixth function which is exponential so let's say we have a five percent we want to use e raised to the power of 0 0.05 so what we press is 0 0.05 then second ln as you can see e to the x so we get 1.05127 so it's a minus one so it's 5.13 percent let's say and if you want to solve using the natural logarithm which is ln so let's say ln 1 plus 0 0.0513 so what we produce is 1.0513 then we press the ln we get approximately 5% so this is it for today if you found this video beneficial please make sure to hit the like button and if you have any questions or you are facing difficulties solving problems using the financial calculator please leave a comment and I'll be happy to assist thanks again and see you next time